Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. This is the companion YouTube channel to www.texasflycaster.com where you can go to find highly detailed information about fly fishing in Texas. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the Texas Fly Fishing Report. It is the weekend. I rarely do these on the weekend, but I figure I better get one out. Try to try to make a weekly thing out of getting these reports out and going. Um, it is March already, 2016, and I have a few things to tell you about fishing right now, fly fishing here in Texas. Um, of course, I'm at the northern end of Texas, uh, north central Texas, and it's pretty cold here still, but things are warming up. Earlier this week, I got out on the skiff and uh, saw plenty of bait activity, and, and it looks like I've got some photos that I'll uh, attach to the end of this video. Friends are sending in from all over the state that uh, show that the bass are coming up now. You know, if you're into bass on fly, it's a good time to get out and give it a run. Uh, for me, I fished only one day this week. The wind is a big story here in North Texas, and there's a lot of wind going on, and it makes it really difficult to uh, to fly fish and either from shore or from a skiff or anything really just really really rough this week the only day i had that was really clear to go out was monday the 29th which of course you know if there's a leap day i'm going to be out fly fishing just because i can say i did it but uh anyway that's what's going on up here uh, i can see that the the larger bass are going to start to move shallow we're not anywhere close to carp yet which is you know of course my number one goal number one pursuit but uh, there's uh, there's other things going on. Um, I managed to catch. I, I'm starting a new art that I'm working on, kind of dabbling in, called giotaku. It's the Japanese printing from actual fish. And so here's one, the one that I that I actually brought to uh, to show you. And this is a pretty nice size sand bass. It would have been a it would have been a lake record for. Uh, Ray Roberts on fly, but uh, anyway, that's what it looks like, and uh, you can see it's a uh, it's a really interesting. And this one's not quite finished. I got to do, go in and do some more detail work on it. But Yotaku printing is a really interesting thing. There's lots of videos on it. Um, I'm fortunate that I have a wonderful wife who is a retired art teacher, and so uh, she actually um, clued me into different kinds of ink other than what you see in the videos on YouTube. And she clued me into uh, ways to apply the ink that are actually better than what you see in the videos. If you think about March, you know things start to heat up in Texas, and there's a couple of a few events going on that I know about. If you have any events, you let me know. Um, to start out, the next uh, the next issue of Lone Star Outdoor News should have a story about uh, fly tying that I wrote and photographed, and it covers. Um, basically, I interviewed people all over the state about fly tying events that happen regularly in Texas, maybe weekly, maybe every couple of weeks, maybe every month. Most of them, actually, outside of uh, uh, some areas like Houston, most of them are weekly. And you can find fly tying events at Bass Pro. You can find them at uh, Sportsman's Finest, Austin, Texas. Uh, Living Waters in Round Rock, uh, the Rio Grande Valley with Ray Ramirez and that group down there that have been going for a few years. Um, it's just amazing, really, how many different places you can go to tie flies and how, um, how big that part of the fly fishing scene is in Texas. You would think that it would be a low priority, but there's, I saw and photographed some young kids from 11 years old all the way up to uh, 70 75 year old uh, folks that have been you know meeting in the same place for 30 years so really neat story look for that alone star outdoor news on the uh, newsstands I'm, i think it'll come out this coming week um other than that there's uh you know as i said there's events that are coming now that are uh, uh, fly fishing related there's two on the same day actually on the 12th of march and that is the uh Fort Worth Water District has a, a brand, to me it's a brand new event, uh, over there on the Trinity River. Trinity River Water District, try to say that three times real fast. And uh, their thing is on the 12th, and also 
than the Texas Freshwater Fisheries Fly Fish Texas event, which I've been to several years, not every year, but several years. Um, it's also on the same day in Athens, Texas. So if you've never been to Athens, Texas, you need to check it out. And if you got kids that you want to get interested in fishing or fly fishing or fish, you've got to go to the Texas Freshwater Fisheries. That's the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department uh, uh, location. And really, really a great place to turn kids on to the whole sport. So anyway, at the end of this uh, video today, you know, there's going to be a little clip of off the skiff from catching that one fish that I did a Gio Taco of. I'm going to try to attach some photos that have been coming to me from all over from uh, other fishermen. There's a great shot from Danny Scarborough of HoustonFlyFishing.com. It's not of him, but it's from him, of uh, one of his clients with a really nice, for the species, uh, yellow bass, which is kind of like basically a yellow sand bass. So he's into that. And then I got another one from a friend. I better not name him because uh, he'd be upset if I gave it away uh, where he's fishing. But a really nice bass. And that came in while I was just before I started recording this. So there's all kinds of things. If you want to send me uh, any of your fishing photos, fly fishing photos from across Texas, um, feel free to contact me. And I'll give you my phone number. I don't think I should be giving that phone number out over the uh, over the YouTube channel, but uh, I'd love to see your photos of fish. And I always run those for people on the Texas Flycaster website. If you haven't seen the website, you know that's where all the great things happen. www.texasflycaster.com. And uh, thanks for watching today. It's we're headed into a time. Of course, when the fish start moving, water's already warmed up. I think it was like 55 degrees on Lake Ray Roberts today, or not today, earlier this week. And uh, so things are warming up. Uh, unfortunately, it's the best of times and worst of times because spring break is coming up. This is a weekend report, which I rarely do, but I don't fish on weekends hardly at all. I can help it. Um, so uh, it's also the worst of times. You know, with spring break coming, we've got two weeks of uh, being overrun by spring breakers on the places we like to be uh, and uh, a lot of teachers and others that are off work and on the water. So I've, I've been pushed off of one place I like to fish uh, the, the, below the dam at Ray Roberts. I've been pushed off of there several times by elbow to elbow people and, and just, just a zoo that's going on there. So if I was you, even though the water's flowing, they're probably catching fish constantly. Uh, I wouldn't bother with it if I'm a fly fisher because it's just too crowded. Otherwise, have a great weekend, what's left of it, and I'll see you this week. I'm kind of dabbling in different ways to present the uh, regular report because, uh, of course, as I said, the fly bar has been converted into the tri bar. Try to gain weight and try to put on some muscle mass. And so it's like a weight room kind of thing now. But... Uh, and we're going to report eventually, I think all the reports will be coming from the skiff on the water. And maybe we can show you, show and tell some, some fishing techniques and things and integrate those into the Texas Fly Fishing Report. Thanks for watching. Have a great week coming up. And we'll see you again probably during the week this week.
Thanks for watching this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. Thanks also goes out to the sponsors. If you need more information, be sure to visit www.texasflycaster.com. And if you have any information about fly fishing in Texas, feel free to share it, and we'll be glad to get it on the report.